Good afternoon. I think we're going to get started. Um, as, you, as you can see, I'm obviously not Dr. Haddad, who is unwell today. Uh, my name is Lucy Hyde. I'm the program manager here at the Linux Foundation um, that has the pleasure of working on PyTorch with all of our partners. Um, I'm going to very briefly go over this uh, slide deck, just highlighting some of the advances that we've made over the past six months or so that we've had PyTorch here at the Linux Foundation, and then uh, pass it off to our, our actual and much more eloquent kickoff speaker. <laughs> Um, so in uh, September, Meta announced that the PyTorch project would be transitioning to the Linux Foundation. Uh, coincidentally, I found that out halfway through my interview cycle, and then I continued to um, hound the hiring manager until I achieved the job. Um, we have uh, multiple founding members. Um, we'd really to like to specifically highlight these members. They've done a lot of the groundwork getting the foundation set up, and you know we look forward to welcoming more members into the foundation too. Um, one of the benefits of, of having the PyTorch Foundation um, is that we can focus on our commitment to open source, but also open governments and uh, increased investment in AI. Um, it's uh, you know one of the uh, core principles we have here at the PyTorch Foundation. We're very proud of it. Um, and as you can see, this just highlights our uh, technical governance as well as our PyTorch Foundation governance. Um, we have a bunch of different... Uh, platforms and areas that we focus on as, as we work throughout our weeks, and uh, we look forward to pushing some of these initiatives further. Going over our support resources within the LF. And um, I'd actually like to invite either Kylie or Jen to come up and talk about this as well, huh? so I can get the um, get the attention off of me for a sec. Um, but uh, the first six months for the PyTorch Foundation have been uh, pretty incredible. Um, we've had a lot of increases across our social media platforms as well as in GitHub, which is mostly where I have focused. Um, but uh, with socials, I would happily pass it. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Kylie. I'm the comms manager for PyTorch at the Linux Foundation. It's great to see you all here. Um, so Jen and I, Jen's back there. Jen, wave your hand. <laughs> um, Jen's our marketing manager. Um, we put together um, this great graphic to showcase everything that's been done um, since the PyTorch Foundation came to the Linux Foundation. Um, we've seen some great um, numbers here. I won't read them all, but um, you can see up here, um, we've had a lot of increases in our contributors um, and followers, and um, we're just going up from here. So it's been great to see. Um, we also posted this on our social channels if you want to take a deeper look. Um, but thank you all for being a part of um, our growth here at the PyTorch Foundation. Thank you. Um, another thing that we did want to highlight is that we do have an upcoming PyTorch conference. We hold one every year, typically in October, November timeframe. Um, we, the conference site went live uh, yesterday, I believe. Uh, call for presentations is open. We'd invite anybody who would like to speak to be considered um, to please submit a presentation. Um, and we look forward to seeing everybody there. We're very excited about this event. Um, so we did have some immediate priorities. There was a lot of spin up to get this foundation up and running. Um, so making sure that there was stable operations. We brought on staff, myself as well as Jen um, were included. Um, we are looking forward to opening up to new membership. Um, estimated time is about a month from now. Uh, we have a lot of work that goes into opening up foundations for membership, um, but we are very excited to start welcoming new members. And last but not least, um, this is our; these are our core focus areas um, for PyTorch for 2023. Um, very selfishly, I'm excited for deeper engagement in academia. That's really my focus area. Um, but I did want to highlight that we have a lot of events and other engagement opportunities to increase number of developers and contributors, um, both within um, a purely technical standpoint as well as providing documentation like the Docathon that will be held at the end of May. Um, we have other engagement opportunities, such as our regional meetups. Um, we just held one in New York, and I know we have one here this week. Um, and we do aim to have several of those, um, you know, sprinkled throughout the, uh, the coming months. 
Um, and lastly, we are looking at launching a formal training and certification program as well. The uh, training portion should occur probably within the next month that will be the soft launch. Um, and we are looking to have multiple training courses and certifications available. Um, lastly, here is today's agenda. Um, we have uh, a really diverse speaker group, but I'm humbled to be in the same room as all of you. Um, without further ado, I will pass it off. <laughs>